to the NYC Godcast. We have been taking a deep dive into um, joy, Jesus over you, and really finding out what it means to have true joy. Last week, Josh and Rachel talked, I think, <laughs> I don't know if you call that talking. <laughs> I think you guys talked about the journey of joy starts with thin. I yeah, that sounds good. So, I, that's what I tried to gather. That's a good theory out of it. Um, but that how God knows exactly what we need because He created us. Right. But we always try to jump in there and mm -hmm. do the things that we think will bring us joy. Right. Um, but today, I kind of want to tack on to that. Like, it seems very, like, Jamie-esque to bounce off of the mm -hmm. Rachel theme. But, like, I want to kind of tack on to, like, making joyful choices. So you obviously made the joyful, joyful choice in the bathroom that time. And you were like, I have to change. Mm -hmm. Something has to change. And so um, every single day, we make thousands of choices. Thousands. Like, you got to think of every single thing that you ever make a decision of in the day. You think of, um, what time am I going to get up? What time do I have to do this? What time do I do that? When do I eat? When I, what do I eat? Does my car need gas? Does this? So think about every single decision that you make throughout the day. And these are just like a few things that we think about. And I bet we never even think, what does God want? Like we get up and we're like, oh, I need to go get some breakfast. You don't even think about like, well, Maybe he wants me to go here. Yeah. Maybe he has an opportunity for you to do something somewhere. You don't even think those things. They're just kind of like you're just doing whatever. And we need to try to make the choices not that will make us happy, but what will allow God to give us joy. Um, an example of this for me, um, I don't like getting up early. No. I don't know if you knew that. You don't I that. am not. I'm not a morning person. And so my happy choice, the choice that I think brings me joy, is to stay up late and get up or, or get up late. So right. like get up, you know, in the mid morning. Um, obviously, with work and stuff, I can't do that, whatever. But I've even further than that. I, lately, God has been like, you need to um, get up earlier and, and start your day with me, not just me finding time throughout the day to spend with him. Right. Like, that's your first thing. You need to do that first. Which, again, it's not my happy choice. Yeah. My happy choice is to sleep in. Mm -hmm. But God's joyful choice is for me to get up early and spend time with him. And um, I lost my spot. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. So I'm not saying that people need to... Um, and every choice, they don't have to be like, oh no, am I going to eat Lay's or am I eating Pringles? You know what I mean? Pringles. Which we all know, yeah, Pringles, Pringles are like the superior choice. It's the superior chip. Yeah. But I'm not asking for people to be like every single second being like, oh no, I need to ask God if I should have turkey or roast beef. You know what I mean? I'm not asking of that. But what I am asking is if you create the mindset of having his want and will first, you're going to have joy. Right. Um, because the more that you involve him in your life, in your plans, in the decisions that you make, the stronger of a relationship you're going to have mm -hmm. with him and the closer you're going to be with him, which will allow him to have the opportunity to give you joy. Right. Um, and it puts you in tune with him. Yeah. Kind of like the whole, like, when you pray, God's will be done, we think that, like, some people think that that's like the magic words. Like, if I want something, like, that will be done. He's yeah, like, yeah, he'll give it, yeah. it's fine. But like, it's not him doing what you want necessarily. Mm -hmm. It's you asking for what is pleasing to him. Yes. And so when you're consciously making the decisions of what God wants, mm -hmm. what brings God joy, what, you know, then you're in tune with him and you're in his will. And so then yeah. you're wanting the things that he wants automatically. Almost. Exactly. And I think that's where we kind of lack as Christians nowadays mm -hmm. because we're very much like, well, this is the thing. This is the thing that makes the most sense to me. This is what I need. Yeah. And then it's not. And God's just like, right. <laughs> I can. I can. Really? <laughs> we, we were just through this. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but I wanted to bring up some things that, like, personally what I have to do in my own life maybe it will spark you guys to either maybe integrate some of these things that are joyful choices, making joyful choices every day. Because I think there's two categories. There is making everyday, daily um, 
joyful choices in your life, kind of like me getting up early. Right. And then there's some that you have to do on the fly mm -hmm. that are kind of just like, okay, this decision came up to my face, what do I do about it? Right. Right. And so I want to talk about right now some of the things that I have integrated into my life that allow me to have more joy. Well, number one, I have to remind myself that I'm not in control of everything. Um, I actually have a post-it note at work that says, live in godly excellence, not human perfection. Um, I'm very much that person that's like, even if it's something that has nothing, and she can attest to this, it has nothing to do with me, I'll blame myself for it. Yeah. Like She'll stress herself out mm -hmm. over everyone else's problems. Yeah, I'm like... That person over there made a bad, dumb decision. Oh no, I should have stopped them. Yeah. Even though there's no way I could have stopped them, but I'll worry about it and think I should have done something about it. Or you it. need to go fix it. Or I need to go fix it. Yeah, they did something stupid, so now it's my job to make sure it gets fixed. Um, and that's exhausting. And that's not very joy-filled, if you didn't know. <laughs> it's not very joy-filled to be like that. So I have that post-it note that reminds me every day. This way. I also have a post-it note that says, always point them to Jesus. That way, even when I do something good and... Um, I feel like, oh, I did that. It's not about you. It's not about me. Right. Anything that I do that's ever good, it's not me. Right. And so I have those post-it notes to kind of keep me reminded. Um, I also have to read my Bible and pray every day. And I notice that my whole day starts to kind of fall apart when I don't make time for him. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's kind of like the cliche, like, just pray and read right. your Bible. Right. Like, it's... That's what you're supposed to do, but really. <laughs> like, really, you need to. <laughs> like, you really need to. If you don't, you, your day completely falls apart. And I didn't understand that. I'm like, I am just having such a bad day today. And then I'm like, oh, I didn't take the time to do that. I guess that's the problem. Um, a third one that I do, and I just recently started doing this, like, full time, is every time I get ready to go to work or go to church or whatever, I always play Christian music. And not everybody needs that. Like, not everyone needs to have, like, music playing. But, like, for me, it's easier for me to be in a better mood when I'm listening to those types of yeah. um, uh, songs and stuff. Actually, one of the songs that, the, the song that I have featured today is about that. It's called Jesus on the Radio by um, Jamie Kimmett. But, like, it's basically just making sure that I'm filled and I'm keeping my focus on him, even in the, even if I am just, you know, trying to get dressed or trying to, you know, take a shower or brush my teeth, like, that every single moment I'm keeping my mind focused yeah. on him. Are there um, some things that you do in your life that you have that are kind of like staples? Yeah, I mean, honestly, those ones are pretty... Yeah, I mean, that's, that's I mean, the general, yeah. Yeah, like I pretty much follow those ones too. I noticed that like it really makes a big difference in my day. Like I try to have music playing like always. Like mm -hmm. I just I like having like sound. So I always have like I like like praise and worship music. I like things I like good. Um, that just like as I'm because like I, I just like your mind's always working. So yeah. even if I'm folding laundry or cooking dinner or whatever, I like having that in the background and it helps you to be thinking on that. But I really like um, like if I'm cleaning a house or I'm doing something where the kids are less likely to interrupt me, mm -hmm. I really enjoy and benefit from listening to podcasts. Mm -hmm. um, just, no, and I don't, you know, this one's a good one. Yeah. But there's other, there's other ones that I listen to, too, and it's just, mm -hmm. that has helped me really grow. And, like, I noticed that, like, the days that I've listened to maybe a two or three podcasts, depending mm -hmm. on my time, like, I'm in such a better mood yeah. throughout it because I'm just thinking on him and I'm being challenged to grow closer to him yeah. through them. You feel a little bit more fulfilled throughout yeah. the day. I totally get that. And, like, those are just some of the things that we do every day. And I'm sure that we don't do them every single day like we're supposed to right. because... Unfortunately, we're human. Well, when you're focusing on him, mm -hmm. you're going to just have joy. Like, I don't yeah. feel like you can be thinking of God and growing closer to him and being in tune with him. Mm -hmm. And in like a kind of like, like music for me, like puts me in like a worship -y feel yes. to when I'm listening to music. And so like, like I said, that just automatically like puts me in a good mood and just like it just you're in you're in a joyful mood because you're thinking on him and thinking yeah. about him. And I think like I have in here somewhere. <laughs> I'm kind of lost on my notes at this point. But we, we don't know everything. We, we don't know everything, but Jesus and God do. And so when you stay focused on him and instead of yourself, then you're able to open your mind to those things. Like, right. I don't see how this decision, and even it could be stupid, like the whole thing of going somewhere for breakfast. Mm -hmm. If you choose the wrong place, maybe he had an opportunity for you to witness yeah. or an opportunity for you to do something else. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And why miss out on the things that he wants for us? Right. He wants us to have the most joyful life. That, like literally that's what he is. He right. he is joy. Mm -hmm. And so, um, but yeah, I know this week's been kind of um, 
crazy as far as like last week they had a crazy podcast and now this is the whole thing. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the, <clears throat> the common denominator in those were. I don't know what the common denominator is. <laughs> so awkward. But in between, and I guess I guess I should have prefaced the whole voice thing. I think it's fine. It's fine. Um, I just had some drainage. I don't have COVID. I'm fine. No, but I just like lost my voice and it's the whole thing. Um, but uh, also today, I want, we wanted to bring up that it is Larry Parsons or was Larry Parsons' yeah. birthday. and um, Sunday. Like, this, sun, will, this will this be going Sunday. out tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I guess that's so, right. So today, Sunday, it is Larry Parsons' birthday. And he, if you don't know him, he was such a like crucial and like pillar of camp and he absolutely loved camp and everything that it was and up until um pretty much before he died he was giving everything that he had to and the he camp. had so much joy yeah and he i really would say did. that we could sing happy birthday to him yeah <laughs> but, might but, be more <laughs> good. but i don't think it'd be very good <laughs> memorial but i just wanted to let you guys know that it today for us it's a very special day and um, at our own church, actually, we're doing a Sunday Sunday, and ice cream was his favorite dessert, so um, we're pretty excited about that. But um, yeah, today my considerable quote is, um, the majority of us do not enthrone God. We enthrone common sense. Um, we make our decisions. Oops, where am I at? We make our decisions and then ask the real God to bless our God's decision. Mm -hmm. So basically the whole thing of, it's like the, your will be done yeah. thing. It's the, I made this decision, now I need you to bless it. Yeah. Because I'm a Christian, I made this decision, now you gotta yeah. do it. Um, and then today my feature content is Jesus on the Radio by Jamie Kimmett. I think it's just a fun song that it's fun to listen to when you're going down the road and yeah. trying to focus on him. But thank you for bearing through <laughs> all of this. <laughs> Um, hopefully next week we'll have somewhat of a normal podcast. It'll, it'll be you guys. Oh yeah, it'll be me and Josh. Yeah. So it's not going to be a normal <laughs> podcast. <laughs> um, but yeah, we really appreciate you guys coming in and tuning in and being a part of our NYC family. Um, until then, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.